Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. I've been keeping you guys posted on all of the confirmed golden tickets as I have became aware of them. And as I told you, golden tickets can change. They can be rejected. People can change their mind. And there has been a change. And we're going to go over that. I do want to give a shout out to him for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Nodi Gang. Hey, you guys are likely watching this video on Saturday. I'm not sure if you're watching it in the morning, in the afternoon, whatever. But my NBA pick today may already be up right now so if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and follow me over on twitter for my nba or mlb picks i may also have some of those up today let's talk about this golden ticket change but also some information here about golden tickets because i know people are going to ask me when is like the final date that we'll kind of know what gts are coming out officially from ea uh, and then when will they be coming to the game I can tell you this. Last year, we actually got the entire golden ticket confirmed list of all the GTs coming on the first week of May. So that would be in a week from now, right? Now, the thing is, though, golden tickets this year, in terms of like when people are opening up packs to try to pull them, they came out a week later. And then also, remember, EA actually did another drop of GT. So we're going to have a lot of golden tickets. I would not be surprised if we don't get like the list of GTs coming out, like 100% confirmed from EA, all the golden tickets this week. Would not be shocked to see that come out next week. And then when will they come into the game? shortly after that so we shall see about that but let's talk about this golden ticket change right here and also talk about how this one actually happened so starting off the gt that i had talked to you guys about previously that was confirmed as of the time that i talked about it is gilmore he is being changed now do i think this is a huge huge deal uh the gilmore's being changed here not really to be honest i mean as a cowboys fan i would like to have another cowboy golden ticket but uh gilmore would have been a pretty good cornerback i feel like six foot one a lot of people actually say they don't like the you know carmichael's of the world or you know some of those super tall dbs because they're really really clunky a lot of people actually say that like the best cornerbacks in the game are between like 510 to about like 6162 and to be honest with you guys, some of those smaller cornerbacks, I have to say, they make plays. You know, it seems like they're a lot more quick to, like, jump, especially for me, flat routes, whatever. So Gilmore maybe would have fallen, you know, more under there. But Gilmore, I don't think is the biggest deal to be changed. Now, if you're wondering, though, how did this happen? Well, the guy actually submitted the form for Gilmore. But then what happened was somebody hit him up and actually asked to buy the golden ticket off him. Essentially, uh, change the GT to a player that he actually wanted to go ahead and get there. So they reached out to EA and they allowed him to change it to golden ticket Michael Vick. So, yes, golden ticket Michael Vick is going to be coming now instead of Stefan Gilmore. But... Uh, I just want to say this, okay? I did not help with this card. I helped with Gilmore. I helped with the stat boost on Gilmore, all right? But I did not help with the stat boost on this Michael Vick or with anything that comes with it. However, I know exactly what they did boost. I know exactly the buckets that they chose for this card. And uh, I got to say, if you like using Vick and you use Vick as maybe most people use Michael Vick, I'm not sure you're going to be a fan of how they decided to do the buckets. And again, I did not help. So taking a look at the Michael Vick, again, I did not help with this Michael Vick card, okay? I did not help with this card here. In terms of the boost they decided to go with, when it comes to Michael Vick, obviously, you take a look at the throwing stats, they look pretty good to me, right? Uh, when you take a look at on the run stuff, you know, pretty much everything is pretty high on this card. So there's a really only one thing that I would necessarily say that needs to be boosted, and that would be carrying. After that, everything is kind of nitpicky a little bit with uh, what you can determine to actually upgrade. But the boost that they decided to boost was carrying, which is really, really good. They decided to boost the carrying on him. Short accuracy, medium, deep, and play action. Now, again, I don't really feel like the accuracies maybe needed to be touched, to be completely honest to you guys, because a lot of like the accuracies and stuff, they're already really, really good. Uh, I feel like you're pretty much well set off with that. But as long as carrying got boosted, I don't really think it's all that big of a difference. Uh, what would they have chosen? I guess stiff arm potentially you could have chose on the card. Uh, trucking to try to make that a little bit higher there. But 
likely being already a 98 overall going to a 99 it's not gonna make that much of a difference with all of that maybe if they did decide to go with stiff arm as like the biggest boost there uh stiff arm potentially could have been i don't know high 90s maybe but pretty much with them doing the short medium and deep They've essentially locked in. You're going to have a 99 short, medium, and deep accuracy with 99 throw under pressure, 99 speed, 99 excel. Uh, should potentially be 99 throw under pressure. Already has 99 throw on the run, and the play action is well going to be up. Play action doesn't really matter. One really good change they did make, though, is Michael Vick on this card has Slinger 1, which for those guys that don't know the differences between the releases here, Slinger 1 is the best short and medium, but not very good deep. They made the change to Vic to be Slinger 3. I love that choice. It is, in my opinion, the best release in the game, the best deep release in the game, and very good medium and shorts. In terms of the Zero AP bucket, they went with Fearless and Hot Rod Master. I'm not opposed to that in the Zero AP either. It's pretty solid. But this is where we have an issue, is the ability buckets. And this is where I feel like some people are not going to like this. And I'm just going to say this. I did message the guy and say, hey, if you want to change this, you're still going to be able to get what you want, but it's going to make the card available to everybody. And I'll tell you what he said. But the ability buckets they decided to go with on Vic were four field generals, okay? Now, what does that mean? That does mean that Michael Vic is going to be able to get uh, Hara Master, Pass Lead Elite, or Set Feet Lead. Uh, you're going to get Gunslinger, and you're also going to be able to get Hara Master, right? What people refer to as the God Stack there. So if you like to throw the football, then you're set, right? You're going to be able to get Hara Master, Fearless, Gunslinger, Pass Lead Elite, or Set Feet Lead. But as you guys know, I have helped with other quarterbacks here. And one thing that I made certain was to give them a scrambling quarterback bucket. And the reason for that is, if you don't, you can't get fast break. Michael Vick, with four field generals and then having the hot route master and fearless in the zero AP, this card's not gonna be able to get fast break. The two buckets that allow you to get that are scrambler and improviser. So without one of them, there is no fast break option that's gonna be available on this Michael Vick. And I did bring this up to them. Again, I did not choose the buckets. I did not choose the upgrades, did not choose the buckets. I did not help with this card. I just know the info now they submitted it, okay? He said he wanted to make Vic to pass the ball. He's a Michael Vick fan. He doesn't want this Michael Vick card to be out there for people to be running read options and QB powers and all that. And his exact words were, go use the Lamar Jackson. Which, to be fair, I mean, hey, it's his golden ticket, right? He's going to make the card that he wants to go ahead and choose. Uh, I, I did inform him that if he were to choose, like, Scrambler or something in one of the buckets, then he would still be able to get, you know, some passing abilities in there. But I think he's pretty set on wanting to make the Michael Vick exactly like he did and uh pretty much not wanting people to use the golden ticket of michael vick as one of those like read option and like qb rap quarterbacks pretty much and just wanting to be one of the best possible passing quarterbacks that can still take off during plays so i mean hey he made it how he wanted and that is michael vick so with that being said guys that is the golden ticket change Stephon gilmore is no longer going to be coming and michael vick is going to be coming as a very very good passer of the football that is for sure you guys can let me know down below what you think about that i think there's gonna be a lot of talk about how he doesn't get fast break on the card which i mean hey it is what it is hope you guys enjoyed drop a like on it hit that sub button down below and let me know down below what you guys think about this switch if you guys enjoyed this video check out these